Hey right guys, Trace Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 6 of Bridgerton Season 2. Really, really enjoyed the last three episodes. I watched episodes, what was it, 3, 4 and 5 yesterday, and I plan to do 6, 7 and 8, possibly 8. I might just finish it today. Uh, I think it depends on how long these episodes are going to be, because I'm assuming like the, the last episode is going to be like 3 hours or something. But uh, yeah, episode 2 still didn't, didn't go up, so I'm sorry that these reactions have been more delayed than I wanted them to be, but ah oh well. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the story so far. I've whistled down, Adelise, Benedict's great, and then the romance between Kate and Anthony I think has been really, really strong so far. And I'm hoping, as I said at the end of last reaction, that they can keep that feeling fresh for these remaining three episodes. Because when slash if they do end up together, I'm assuming it will be like the end of episode seven slash eight. So my main thing now is how is episode six going to have it continuing to feel fresh and new i have no doubt well i haven't maybe we'll see because i'm assuming it's the same right as the season one and i think it was episode six last season where they uh put me off the romance of that one entirely so hopefully we don't have a repeat of that with the episode six here so uh yeah episode six which i've just said three times in a row uh if you enjoyed remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to bridgerton the link to the Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below i've had a few people join over from bridgerton over the last two days to kind of watch the season two reactions so thank you guys very much if you have joined over on patreon i hope you enjoy your time there and yeah let's do this a march down the aisle may very well be the longest uh, it's gonna be the wedding episode promenade too <laughs> It is no. a wonder then. I'm going to tell us. Does it fly? Does some, it fly? What kind of answer is some? Well, it does not soar, but if you like, I can Look place at it. Look at it. The position of being Lady Whistledown will have a footman assigned her today. Watching oh, yeah, like she was investigating at the end of Act 2 and she hasn't had any progress since. Perhaps you might put forth false rumours so that when Whistledown prints them, we will be able to trace the origins. Yep. They're doing a Game of Thrones as thick. I thought that. I was like, they had this same problem in season two of Game of Thrones. And Tyrion, like, gave them false rumours to figure it out. There is a day you have been preparing for your entire life, dearest. You are and ready. it's going to get wrecked by your sister. Or staring at naked models all day turns your brain to charcoal. <laughs> I mean, at least he's having a good time. <laughs> Phil, my Tell duty. me, dear brother, once you marry, will your duty finally be fulfilled? So you can stop reminding Yeah. <laughs> the... True love is something else entirely. Which I have with him. The world goes quiet. So watch out. It's not eyes that meet. No need to worry. Much will remain the same. <laughs> the two different conversations. I yeah. cannot help but enjoy a lady who seizes control. <laughs> Are these two going to marry? Pardon me, madam. Yes. I didn't think there was maybe a vibe with these two. A little bit. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> there wasn't really. I just thought there was like the obvious. He's her daughter's cousin. What is he to her? Is there something more serious you wish to tell me about our little undertaking? Yeah, you got about two hours of screen time till Eloise finds out. If that doesn't happen, I'll be shocked. A woman reduced to running her own business. I wonder her mind is so scattered. Oh, God forbid. Because you're doing so well, aren't you? You never much cared for the Viscount, but I hope today we may all find joy. I am happy if you are happy. Yeah, keep on on that fake smile. Hold back the tears when they say I do. Why does no one truly seem ready for this wedding? Because <laughs> no one is. Continue to drink, there can be no after effects. If only you would use your powers Wow. Good. Isn't Anyone that wise knowledge? Shall we? This is... Oh, no. You gotta have, like, a Shrek moment where Shrek busts down the door and he's like, oh, I object! And then everyone's like, that's basically what's gonna happen. Maybe. Probably not. One can hope. Where's Newton? That's the only bit of entertainment I'd need. Just Newton running around eating people. I visited him just the other day. That's yeah, well, not nearly as scandalous as you make it out to be. It is only his thoughts I'm interested in. It is a French Sure. Thing. Of course. There was some looks exchanged. What are about whether the festivities of this day might or might not take place? <gasps> Does the Duchess not care for your bride, brother? I find this <laughs> to be quite lovely and deserving of the truth. A scandal. Which we must not deny her. Who's denying what to whom? Benedict, you must excuse us. It seems the Duchess has opinions. But I wish the best no. man listens to you. She has opinions, whoa. I've gone too far down this road to turn back now, Daph. Not really. He said we will be ruined. I mean, yeah. If we do not marry, have actually. And family will suffer equal scandal. I've had different words for me than he did for you. So please do not insult me with your baseless conjecture. Bloody hell, mate. Because they do not make you worthy of your family's respect. They mm. simply make us pity you. <laughs> Nothing more. Uh, yeah. 
That sucks, mate. They pity you. The thing is, I, if they go down the obvious road of Kate and like Anthony do get into together, I'm cu did. more curious how it comes yes, to be. Like, does he call it off? Does she I click on? Does Kate do say something? To me and I do not want I, to feel as though I'm taking what is right between us. It is time, my lady. Is it? Come. Let us put all of the nasty Guess we're getting married. Ugh, are they actually going through with this? If it was the finale, I'd be like, no. But because it's up six, I'm like, they are possibly going to go through with the actual wedding. <laughs> the Queen from Row. Oh, what's this? I know this song as well. I don't know the name of any of these songs. I just know the song. I've heard it a billion times. Yeah, there she is. You know my guy's heart's flying out his chest right now. He might actually die. Oh dear. He hasn't even spoken this up. Are they? I think so. <laughs> yeah, in front of everyone might not be the smallest. Yo, everyone's flabbergasted. Are we doing this? I go. Bro, someone object! <laughs> Daphne's gonna object. Or the mum. No, the mum. I'm not. Miss Edwina, you look lovely. Thank you, my lord. I'm surprised I'm to say, oh, you look acceptable, I Please guess. Be seated. I guess let's get this over with. Like brute beasts that have no understanding. What is this? What? <laughs> oh, my guy, come on. Everyone's looking at you. <laughs> Everyone would see this. Ah, yes, yes, the what if. My guy, step back into it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What's going on? Is she clicked on? The Archbishop would like you to repeat, my Lord. After him? Yes, of course. My guy, you are being so obvious. Oh. Ah, of course, of course, bro. My guy, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> In front of everyone, has everyone just been like, Might I continue? "Oh no, no, she knows, she knows, she knows." Is she gonna faint? She's gonna faint. That's how he's getting out of this one. We need a moment. Ah, yes. Okay, that's how they're getting out of that one then. Yeah, that was a bit much, mate. I'm not gonna lie. Who is there staring at? It was like that for like a good ten minutes straight. Straight. What has happened to my wedding? Oh right seems to run away, ma'am. And then he literally bent down to put Oh okay, so I thought someone got shot in the face. Yeah, to put that bangle back on. And like was being all romantic with that as well. Like, come on, bro. Breathe. The Viscount the Viscount will understand, yes, Kate? Um perhaps you might find that tea. It is not tea that I want. Jeez. The demons come out. You have feelings for him! All the time! <laughs> what did it feel for? No, that is not. True. Oh, you cannot deny it now, Kate! Yeah, not after that. You've been such a fool. Yeah, you not. You lied to me oh, again God. and again. I guess it's out there now. Do you love him? Uh, what? Uh, you just say yeah. Me. Do you love him? <sighs> you just can't say no. It's well obvious. Edwina. That is enough. God. No good can come from this at present. Let us all take a moment to calm ourselves, shall we? Calm? You have kept so very much from me. Ooh, Go. That was a personal else, remark. Kate? Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit of a mess. I mean, if you're having a TV show and there's a wedding, some dramatic's going to happen. Come on. Very rare a wedding just goes smoothly. That's a good shot. Very good, very good. Does, 
This have anything to do with our dinner with the Sheffields the other evening. Or perhaps some even greater issue has come to pass that we must discuss, Anthony. Mr. Dwayne is really no. Precisely. What? You know something? <laughs> How, How do you not? not? I thought this is why you were giving loads of speeches to him. Tell me what you know. I thought she knew as well. Or like had an idea. No? Well, did I read that wrong, I guess? Let alone arranging this elaborate affair if it was not for you. Ooh, this pressure. is as much your blunder as anyone else's. And we shall proceed with our plans. All of them. What, including the I do's? I don't know. Redirect. Their attention. I don't. <laughs> God. Ugh. Do you wish to insult Lord Featherington by not showing off this beautiful necklace? No one cares about the necklace. Great. This is one of those cheap ones, anyway. I am speaking of clarity of thought. I simply would yeah, like to. We've had know, but two scenes with them. Let's calm I can down. Certain mysteries. But what good will it do? It is not as though you can act on it. I suppose. Or she ain't gonna marry some lord, sure. let's be honest. Well, I guess we'll find out in Eloise's season, whenever that is. Makes it feel like lord Bridgerton. What's the worst thing that could happen to a wedding? Tom runs out. <laughs> yep. I'm intent upon this marriage. The very fact that we have arrived at this day with whatever interference there might have been should be proof enough. I believe that, I guess. But Yet I still wonder whether it is the marriage. Or me, that you truly want. <laughs> she said, be honest, bro. And what is it that you believe we share? Our places. Mm, that's not what she Our wants. Our roles. She said, love They're mine. I as the Viscount, you as the Diamond. Neither by our own choice. We yeah, that's not how she looks at this. To each other in that respect. Because you love me. Uh, um... He loves what you stand for, I guess. <laughs> I understand you. Right, well, that's not really what she's you. looking for with that one. And what of my sister? Hmm? What role will she play between us in the future? The thorn easily removed from the blossoming flower of our lives. Oh, my guy called her a thorn! She shall have no place in our future, and you and I will be free of her. And that is what you now wish. My guy, what are you doing? That is what I now know. The great distance between us will only bring you and I closer. But that future is only possible if you decide today to marry me. Um, uh, because they get married, surely that's it now. Like it is. I require a moment to think of my future indeed. She isn't going to go through with it. I might now imagine it. You must understand. Of course. I do feel bad for it, to be fair. Again, I've said it before, but Ed, if Edwina was horrible, it would be so easy, but it's, she's a nice person and she yeah, loves them, so it's shit. <laughs> uh, you've not walked into Anton. Yes, you have. <laughs> she ran back into the closet. <laughs> she has, right. I don't blame her. She was harsher than I knew her capable of being. She's not that harsh, bro. I think it's pretty fair. Cease to help her and hide in a closet and she ruins her life. Oh, God. One way I to look at it. Ruined her life. Are they going to nearly kiss again? Or brisk lips on cheeks what? and whisper into ears? Or are we just going to... Come on, bro. <laughs> They're really not, are they? Is this, what's this, number five? Goodbye, my lord. Number five. <laughs> oh my god, I've never known a kiss so delayed with so many opportunities. Again, if this was set in the modern day, they'd have kissed like four apps ago, but all about honour and all that stuff thrown into the mix. Daphne has, uh, well, she has finally confirmed something I have been fearing for quite some time. So oh, I really thought the mongers knew about this. I believe you two have observed. No yeah, doubt. Danbury was on it. I do not know what to do. <laughs> 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 I 
Losing her head. <laughs> God, we're all going psychotic. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, look great. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> I think they're most of probably laughing their life. I think they needed to let all that out. Yes, yes, I once did have feelings for the Viscount. But they were no match for the love I had and continue to have for you. And you must yeah, know that's I fair. She everything in my power. Surely loves the system more than happiness. her feelings for Anthony. Including though. going back to India. Oh, it's hard on. Please. I don't know. I do not know. Which pains me more. Go your on. betrayal. Mm. Or your pity. <sighs> half sister. Maybe the pity. Oh, half, you're going to throw out the half sister. Come on. Woman. So if I choose to marry Anthony, it will be because it pleases me and uh, no one else. I need you. I mean, yeah, because it ain't pleasing Anthony. It ain't going to please her. If <laughs> I go through with this wedding, it will have nothing. To do with you. <laughs> yeah, fair. I respect it. Not that Edwin is not just being all like, oh, you can have him. <laughs> just been like over it kind of thing. But it appears Miss Edwina is far more cunning than we've been. <laughs> He's joined down no, 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 his no, no, notes because I must write to my men to obtain the latest report. <laughs> Obviously. Now, I like to know if it is. And Mr. Mondrich, I must ask about the social club of yours. An admirable endeavour. The social club we've seen one time. What can a boxer know about running a business? <laughs> <laughs> what? About as much as a gentleman knows about mining. <laughs> Got him. Oh. Excuse me. What was that? What could a boxer do about running a business? <laughs> Pure strategy. I would never dare think you had affections for another. It would make me far too jealous, my lady. <laughs> Save your chance for the investors. Why? I have plenty to spare. <laughs> uh, Your lies are wasted on me. No, I do not uh, You're far too cunning to fall prey to that, are you not? Here we go. Yeah, he's slapping the charm on now, isn't he? Truth. Right. I knew it was, I knew this was gonna happen. Both Lady Bridgerton and I are in agreement that it is up to Miss Edwina to decide her fate. <laughs> She's like, I did not realise the diamond outweighed the crown. It does not, Your Majesty. Is she going through with it? Pardon our interruption, Your Majesty. It is noted. <laughs> to be sure. I do hope my efforts is she today have not been all? wasted. It has not been a waste, Your Majesty. Child, are you here to tell me you are going to marry him or not? No. It'd be a no. They're not just going to go through with it Did now. You see them? My bride. My my beautiful bride. God. Yeah. We see him like what? One seventy five apps. The Archbishop and, and, and our congregation. George. She's radiant, is she not? What are they. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, are they just dragging they him back God, off? Leave, leave me! Leave me! Flossy. I hear the two of you face many trials during your happy courtship. But today. They all stunned the Edwina. It well worth it. Before you both rule this kingdom, the kind of love, uh. compassion, and kindness the two of you undoubtedly share. That's sad, dude. My queen. For the only time we ever see like the queen kind of vulnerable is when he's in the same scene. Yes, Edwina. Oh, Edwina. She's kind of a bosh, you know. <laughs> Is anyone going to eat this cake? There's so much cake around, no one's touching it. Lady Crane was right about you. Lady Crane? Is what he going to start simping say? over Lady Whistledown? That you cared for me. That you would never forsake me. I'm beginning to believe that now. Is Colin opened his eyes as he was told to? Oh, oh finally. Yes. A piece of cake. Before it's all gone. Finally, I was surprised I was melted. Surely there are other things to do. Have you seen the peacock? It's embarrassing <laughs> to think only of his thoughts when yeah. I should rather be thinking of my own. I... Oh, good save. I'd have been running. Oh, who's this guy? 
Everyone deserves to make that choice. Just as everyone deserves to feel its power. Yo, she's a wise know. one. Copy of her as a queen. It is the hardest and greatest choice one can ever make. I feel bad for a dude. If she doesn't go with it, I hope she finds someone by the end of the season. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even think of, like, an example. Benedict. What, him and Kay going to get married instead? Is that what she, Edwina set up? You sent word for me? You've been played. You You've been played by someone. By Edwina, yes, of course. I have made my decision. Here we go. I thought it best you both hear it from me. Edwina, we should speak in private. <sighs> I cannot marry you. Yeah. Lord Bridgerton. That's fair. Imagine if she said yes to allow me to be going in the circle. What it is that I want. What it is that I deserve. Oh, she just lay down that Everyone ball. deserves. I may not know exactly what true love feels like, but I certainly know what it is not. Oh. It is not deception. She got my respect this up. You will never meet my eyes in the same manner that you met my sisters on that altar today. You will never. Yep. Me see him wrong. Today, <laughs> you have mm. lost your power. But I have made up my own mind. She's sick. And that is victory enough for me. I hope she finds someone. Leave it to people to complicate matters. Yeah. <laughs> You've come quite a long way to ask me something. So go on. There we go. I have thoughts. Ah, of and course. See how interesting or provoking. It is you who crosses my mind. What? It is you Why? I would like to speak with about those thoughts. You met properly like an ep ago. I see. I know they didn't meet last time, but... You know. might also have thoughts of me when you think. Right. I've, I've, yes, that's the sentence. Okay. They're kind of cute, though. <laughs> Eagerly awaiting It's like, it's like a cross of... Why you you stand out like a sore thumb, mate? What? It <laughs> won't in this show when they're trying to be undercover by the brightest of clothes. Our trap for Lady Whistledown has indeed produced a result, and it is Eloise. Eloise. I suppose we ought to go. Yeah, but you're not gonna. Are they gonna nearly kiss at the altar this time? Your sister is braver and wiser than us both. Yes, I would. Probably she had the courage to act on what she sensed between us, and here we are, standing perfectly still, having felt it for months. Months? I stand here. Wow, I thought it had been like three weeks, <laughs> maybe Where's four. The we, go? we have failed at it all. Maybe if you both marry, wouldn't that be so you didn't me. fail? If it is now my wish. Don't step forward, because then I'm going to start thinking you're going to kiss, and you just not going to and um, wait oh finally bro god <laughs> oh i never just wanted two people to kiss so much and just waiting and waiting <laughs> it's a pretty good one as well it's a pretty good one they get in the panning round they got the music they're in a cool room yeah well done ggs good first kiss I th in my head, I was like, are they really going to have us wait until episode 8? <laughs> I thought that was like starting to become a possibility. But uh, no, we got it. We got it done. All right, there we go, guys. That is episode 6. Episode 6. We have two episodes remaining. So very good. But very good episode. This was obviously entirely based around the wedding and the whole what's going to happen. How are they going to get out of this situation? Which I think... Was it like very early on in the episode when they were starting to prepare for it for like the first 15 minutes, I was really wondering like, is it going to be Kate who says something, which was the least likely option? Uh, would it gonna, was it going to be Edwina who kind of called it off or was Anthony going to call it off, which was becoming more and more unlikely? Was something other going to happen like Daphne gets in the way? I don't really know, but uh, no, it became Anthony and Kate becoming very obvious with their looks <laughs> in each other. And Edwina being the one who called it off. Edwina, this episode, this was her best episode by far. She was, I, I liked her anyway, but I think this was the episode that made me like, yeah, she, she's a great character, uh, kind of voicing, not shying away from her thoughts <laughs> when she kind of started to realise what was what was happening and her conversations with like the Queen and 
uh, the king as well like calming him down and stuff I thought was a very good scene and then her talks with Kate and Anthony like every, everyone she had a conversation with after that situation after the first 20 minutes basically was great I think she had the best scenes of this entire episode this episode finally gave us a kiss between Kate and Anthony and I'd say every conversation Edwina had with someone this episode was better <laughs> they were for me the best parts of the episode for sure so uh yeah very very good character I'm actually surprised because again like having uh, based off the trailer that I reacted to at the end of episode eight uh, of season one if kind of felt like maybe they'd make Edwina like a really kind of boring bland character to make you be like oh get with Kate get with Kate and make it dead obvious in that regard but and I think it would have been very easy for them to do that but I'm so happy that they made her a really interesting character to to watch and have good dialogue with as well so yeah really liked her this episode um I think this is also the perfect timing to finally have it be revealed to everyone not everyone I'm sure like a lot of people there didn't really click on but for the people who it mattered for, I think having it be obvious that Anthony and Kate have something between each other. Like pushing that to episode 8, which I think they could have done as well, might have started to drag out a little bit. And that's why I was like curious where this episode was going to go. And it's out there now. So now we have two more hours of drama and what's going to happen there. I know we have other stuff as well, like with Eloise, which I'd say, I wouldn't say it was a negative of this episode, but I do think this whole like her and Penelope, you know not not getting along i think that's pushing it a bit but penelope trying to steer her away from this guy that she's clearly interested in i just wish we had had more scenes between eloise and this guy that she's clearly interested in because they met but there was nothing there it was just done with a bit of back and forth and then they met back up again last episode and I thought that was like a good starting ground. But then it's like we jumped to this episode and she's like, oh, I can't stop thinking about him. I need to go see him. I need to go see him. And it's just like that over and over again for the whole episode. And then she goes and sees him. And she's like, the, the scene when they were together in this episode was actually kind of cute. But I just think the build up to that and like her talking to Penelope about him just felt a bit much. It was just like, oh, I, not like because it's what she's saying doesn't make sense. It does. It's just I don't really feel that because I just feel like we haven't had many scenes with them two together also where's the, they said couple they said few months okay said few months this season has not felt like it's been a few months between them it's felt like a month <laughs> maybe uh so that's yeah i guess it kind of makes sense like him getting benedict getting accepted into that uh uni and all the academy and then being there would yeah would be like weeks apart and stuff so i guess it makes sense but it just it doesn't really come across like it has been a few months so uh, very not confused by that but um i was surprised when she said that i was like oh okay i guess sure uh so yeah overall very very good episode again i still think my favorite is definitely episode three i just think that was such a strong episode but every episode since then has still been really really strong so i'm gonna give this one an eight point i think we're eight hmm I'll get 8.3 out of 10. I think the strongest part of this episode was definitely Edwina. Uh, for sure. She was really, really strong. I think without her, this would have been an 8. But there was other stuff there for sure as well that was really strong. And I just think that Eloise romance that they're kind of setting up could have done with a few more scenes between them in previous episodes. But we'll see where it goes in the last two episodes. So, yeah, th we've not had an episode below an 8 so far this season which is very very good so hopefully keep that up for episode seven and eight but thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed let me know you thought the episode down below in the comments and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to bridgeton then link to patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below by the time this one's on youtube patreon should have had the entire season up by now so yeah i'll see you next time for episode seven until then take care peace